Defence Forces Commander Philip Valerio Sibanda has declared that the situation in Zimbabwe has returned to normal. He says the military will return to their barracks and hand over security to the police. Under Operation Restore Legacy, former Finance Minister Ignatius Chombo and a number of other high-ranking ZANU-PF members have been charged with corruption. While some of the individuals have been accounted for, others kept the country. This notwithstanding, the objectives of the operation have to a large extent been achieved. As Operation Restore Legacy comes to an end, it is our hope as your defense and security services that our people will remain united, they will shun corruption, they will be law abiding and focus on working hard for the development of our country. Two former ministers, Jonathan Moyo and Xavier Kasukuere, the alleged kingpins of the G40 faction, have fled the country and remain at large. And a former Ministry of Mines official has been arrested and charged with corruption. During his inauguration, President Emerson Mnangagwa vowed to tackle widespread corruption. Since then, the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission has launched investigations into two former cabinet ministers for flouting tender procedures as well as criminal abuse of office. Following its intervention earlier this month, the military has taken on a more prominent role. Two generals have been included in Mnangagwa's cabinet, heading up the agriculture and foreign affairs portfolios. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.